this video is sponsored by JLC PCB. What's up guys, Leon here, welcome back to my channel. Guys, in the last month we tried to build a real military EMP generator. The concept worked, but unfortunately the generator wasn't even able to destroy my phone. Since then, the project hasn't left me alone. I think we need to give it an upgrade, an expensive one. But how can we improve the EMP? In my last video I already gave the solution, but I wasn't crazy enough to actually implement it. The problem is a capacitor from the curl warning machine, man. It looks big and dangerous, and it's definitely dangerous, but the voltage is just not high enough. We need a much higher voltage, and also the capacitor should be a pulse capacitor, because at the end we need extremely high short currents for the EMP. But such pulse capacitors are, as I mentioned in my last video, very expensive. Much too expensive in my opinion. Just for fun I look on the internet for a manufacturers of pulse capacitors, but all retailers sell only large quantities. And I only need one. After I discussed the idea of starting a pulse capacitor business here in Germany and just ordering 10 pieces with the curl warning machine man, we quickly came to the conclusion that this is completely a stupid idea. <laughs> Who want to buy a capacitor for $500? I then wrote to Pluspark Electronics and asked if they could make an exception because I'm a YouTuber and all that stuff and just sell me one. Surprisingly, they actually make an exception. So after I paid around about $300 for the capacitor, $150 for shipping and $57 for the customs, the capacitor arrived faster than I can look. Take a look at this guys, 50 kV and 220 nanofarad. The inductance is between 18 and 25 nanohenry. <laughs> That's like birthday and Christmas in one day. The interesting thing is that the capacitor is even much more compact than the old one, although it can store much more energy. We already have the most important part of our EMP generator, now we just need everything else. The 50 kV makes things a lot more complicated. But let's go one by one. How do we charge the capacitor? The charger basically consists out of three parts. A DVS circuit, a flyback transformer and a high voltage multiplier. The DVS driver runs the transformer and the transformer runs the multiplier. Quite simple in itself. Using the layout editor Eagle I create two PCBs. One for the DVS driver and one for the high voltage multiplier. Luckily JLC PCB is the sponsor of today's video. To order we just have to upload the Gerber files of the two PCBs on JLC's website. I think purple just matches best with an EMP generator. Don't forget to order lead free PCBs. It usually only takes a few days for the PCBs to run. Have a look at these PCBs, especially the PCB of the multiplayer convinces me completely. Guys definitely check out JLC, link is in the video description down below. Now let's assemble the PCBs. The components of the multiplier have a maximum voltage of 10 kV DC, which means that our input voltage should not exceed 7 kV AC. But since this is a 6 stage multiplier, we shouldn't apply 7 kV to the input anyway. That would give an output voltage of about 120 kV DC. We only need 50. As a transformer we use this small AC flyback transformer. It doesn't provide much power, but it's not my purpose to charge the capacitor in only one second. Let's test the DVS driver with the transformer first. The 9V battery is only to close the relay, because I want to control the EMP with an Arduino later. The DVS driver works fine, we can draw a beautiful arc. I only test the multiplier briefly, I don't want to break it right away. Diodes are very sensitive. I have now 3D printed this object. You will see later what the design is all about. We now cast the multiplier into resin. To do this, I first connect these cables to the PCB. These are high voltage cables. The PCB fits perfectly into the 3D printed object. A day later, the resin was cured. 
If we want to charge our super cool capacitor later, we need to know when a maximum voltage of 50 kV is reached. So how do we measure the voltage? The solution is quite simple. For this we only need two components, an expansive high voltage resistor and a microamp meter. The resistor has a resistance of exactly 1 giga ohm. This means that at a voltage of 50 kV, exactly 50 microamps flow. At least according to Ohm's law. I will show you that now. We increase the input voltage of the ZVS driver until the microamp meter measures 50 microamps, which means 50 kilovolts. Perfect, this works as it should. I'm sorry guys, but we're not going to charge the capacitor today. It's just too dangerous. In the last weeks I work on an enclosure concept for the EMP generator. Here's a little teaser, I hope you love it. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. This project is just so elaborate and expansive that I have to split it into several videos. How do you like the design? Leave me a comment down below and then guys, we'll see us in the next video.